Time goes by so fast. I'm now 38, and there's so many things I learned that I wish I can go back and tell my 20 year old self. As they say, right? Hindsight is a wonderful thing. And I'm sharing them all in this video so you can start learning from them and start living more intentionally from today. I've grouped them into the five areas in life that you can probably relate to. And that is personal, career, relationships, health, and professional growth. So starting off with personal life lessons and truth. Number one, not everyone will like you. I was a people pleaser growing up and it took me a long time to realize this. You could be out in a supermarket or in a coffee shop waiting to get your coffee or in your workplace, maybe at your friend's dinner party. Someone will decide that they don't like you. It's not what you did or said. And a lot of times it's really out of your control. So what someone might like, the other person might find off-putting. It's just how it is. And it took so much pressure off my shoulder once I realized this. Because at the end of the day, you don't need other people's approval. What you should do instead is to build relationships with those who care about you and appreciate you for who you are. Number two, time is precious and regret is wasting your time. So spend the time with those who matter to you the most. And also work on things that you care about. Embrace the chance to wake up every day to create, learn, love, and just simply live. Regret for me, as a personal experience, was a wasted emotion. You will never see where you're going if you're always focusing on the past. Looking back in my life, there were things that didn't work out or people that hurt me, but I've let that go and my life has never been better because of it. Number three, life is unfair. And let's face it, right? Because sometimes in life, we feel like we're facing this big game of chance. So where you're born, who your family is, and what you did in your early years can have such a big impact on your life. And as we go through life, we might face some really tough times. And very much like you, I hate this unfairness. But one thing I learned is to be resilient in an unfair world. And unfortunately, the fact is, bad things will happen to good people. But here's the thing, the world's unfairness can be really overwhelming. But why not use this opportunity to use it as motivation to make the most of what you have right now to move forward. Things like learning high income skills, grow yourself as a person, embrace a healthier lifestyle, and showing up for yourself every single day. Because we're living in one of the best times that's leveling the playing field with access, internet, and technology. And more and more people have a chance to succeed. Doesn't matter where they start in life. Let's move on to careers and professional life. Number four is that you will not always know what you want to do when you grow up. And I caveat this because some of you may know already, and that's amazing, but I wasn't one of them. Like most people, since my teens, I've been stressing over this elusive passion I'm supposed to have. And I try so hard for the rest of that time to follow this predetermined path that's set by society. It's really unrealistic to expect that we know our life's work in our 20s. And imagine instead you embrace that uncertainty of where life might take you and having some fun along the way. And especially in my 20s, I think at that time, it was the best time to experiment because I had no kids, no obligations, and no mortgage bills to pay. I keep on reinventing myself, even now in my 30s. And I think you find something that's interesting to you and you take action on that. And what you'll find is that in years to come, when you look back, you were where you're supposed to be all along. Number five, there are no shortcuts or hacks to success. But at the same time, just putting in the hard work and consistency may not always be enough. And you probably have seen this shared over social media by gurus who preach overnight success or instant results in a very impatient world. You know the kind of stories where they talk about how they gain a million followers in two weeks or made seven figures in 30 days. And these are kind of stories that makes you feel horrible and feel like you're always behind. Because while hard work is essential, it's not enough on its own. A lot of people work tirelessly their whole lives, but still find obstacles and challenges they face every single day. And I guarantee you, these will feel demotivating. But it's important to remember that success is a very complex equation that's made out of timing, skills, and a lot of times luck. And I think the key to success is a lot of times being made up of the ability to be adaptable. Because while it's really important to be persistent and determined to push through, it's also important to be able to open to change and pivot whenever you need to. And speaking of pivoting, especially in my own journey coming from a corporate career, 
eventually to running my own business, and then now running this YouTube channel. I want to share a few words about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. It's a place where I started my own online journey, and especially learning how to create and edit videos so I can share content like these on my channel years ago. And Skillshare is the online learning community that's led by industry experts. So for example, courses on film, design, illustration, animation, entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in giving a try, use the link in my description because the first 500 people to use this link will get a whole month free on Skillshare. I really hope that you find this helpful in giving yourself that pivot in the career or the professional journey that you needed. And number six, work-life balance is a myth. And I myself, like so many of you guys, are juggling so many things in life right now. You maybe have a family, young children or elderly parents to care for. You might be running a side hustle alongside your full-time job. Or maybe simply you just wanna maintain some form of social and hobby life outside of your current working life at the moment. We all have the things that we want to do, but we just can't do it all at the same time. And as a working mom, I want to have it all. But what I found is that I just wore myself out. Every plate that I was spinning just crashed to the ground and it was just really exhausting. And now finally I embrace the mindset of tilting. Sometimes I tilt towards work. Sometimes I tilt towards family. And sometimes I tilt towards looking after myself because adjusting to life's seasons and realize that your priorities will change at different times. Focusing on one area of your life, it doesn't mean that you're abandoning the others. It just means that you will focus on it when the timing is right. And now moving on to things I wish I knew in money and finance. Number seven is everything in life, especially your financial life, comes from compounding effort. If you constantly feel like you're behind on money, especially those financial gurus that you see that talks about how you need to have X percent of your salary saved by the time you're age 30. It doesn't mean that it's right for you because everyone has different living situations and small consistent actions over a longer period of time will have a massive impact. So it doesn't matter when is the time to start or how early you should start. The key is that you should start as soon as you can. It's a really powerful but very unexciting part of life right? So saving, invest, and spending wisely. By doing these three things well, you will start to build wealth and creating a great financial future for yourself. Number eight is that money doesn't buy happiness, but it buys freedom and choices. I realized later on in life that the freedom to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want for as long as you want is priceless. And even though money can't buy you happiness, it buys the freedom to do what you want. So while we can't live without money, to take away the stress and the financial worries that we have in life. What you can do is know what is your version of enough so you can make and have enough money to live your version of your best life. Number nine, delaying life's gratifications doesn't always give you a rich life. There's this popular idea that a lot of financial gurus talk about, which is when lifestyle inflation, and that is when your spending increases alongside with your income, that you could be financially worse off in the long term. And when I reached my 30s, I realized that having lifestyle inflation is actually okay, as long as you can budget for it and still maintain the same level of savings as before. Because at the end of the day, we all have different goals and priorities, and you want to spend on things that you really enjoy. After all, my realization is that I work so hard so I can provide a better living and quality of life for my family and my children. But as long as I realize that I'm not doing it, to keep up with the Joneses or showing off on social media to impress other people. And now let's move on to health and relationships. Number 10 is that true friends are rare. Surround yourself with people who support you unconditionally and expect nothing in return. At the same time, you should also do the same for those who you care about in your life. We live in a world where we're hyper-connected with so many people at once on social media. Instead of friends, a lot of people you know are probably more like acquaintances. They may be around when things are well, they're there for the celebrations and the good times. They'll celebrate your successes, but when things take a turn for the worse, they might just disappear. And true friends, true friends are the ones that stay with you through thick and thin. They'll be there to support you when you're going through your challenges, even at the lowest moment of your life. And you want to make these friends your friends for life. Number 11, your body is made of the food that you eat. Your mind is made of the content you consume. And your life is made of the habits that you do daily. Just like a car that needs fuel to run, our body needs healthy food 
to function correctly. And it's not just our physical health, right? That's influenced by what we eat. Our mind and mental health is shaped by the content that we feed it, that we read, that we watch every single day. Because all these little micro inputs that we have every single day, it shapes our beliefs and our thoughts. And our health is made up by our daily habits. Whether we choose to exercise regularly, get enough sleep, manage our stress, these everyday tiny little habits really shapes our lives for the better. Number 12, don't let your phone take away the most beautiful moments of your life. The best productivity and mindfulness app is turning on the do not disturb mode. In the age where we have all these devices that we're carrying in our pockets, sometimes can get so consumed in looking into that tiny screen that we miss out all these beautiful moments around us. And I remember the time when I could scroll on Instagram for an hour, but yet I can't seem to sit down and read a page from my favorite book. So when I chose to adopt the digital minimalist lifestyle by not having the devices distracting me every single second, I became much more intentional in my time. I also became much more productive by doing deep work rather than multitasking all at the same time. While I think technology can be such a valuable tool in what we do every single day, I think it's up to us to set the boundaries that works for whatever our life looked like. I have so many more lessons to share, but there'll probably be a second video on this in the future. And lastly, I wanna leave you with this one last lesson. That is, don't let society's expectations dictate your own timeline of life. You don't have a timeline or checklist that you have to take off. When I was 29, I was about to turn 30. I was so stressed about all the things in life that I haven't done, that I haven't really ticked off, as if I failed in life somehow. And what I realized was that by comparing ourselves to others, we're locking ourselves into a timeline that isn't right for us. Because at the end of the day, everything will happen in its own time. And if you believe in this, you will be fine. What are some life lessons and realizations that you would like to share? I love to hear about them, so please share them in the comments below. If you like this video, you might also like this video here, which is all about the different things that I would do to change my life in the next six months. And down here, these are some of the life lessons that I wish I knew earlier too. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.